because I just read a lot where like you can't really use the oh this is the weakness but now it's my strength or you can't really like use like oh I'm way too like hard working or something like that as a weakness mm -hmm. like is there one that is like better than the other or because you can't even you can't really give them like an actual weakness either no you can give actual weaknesses that's that's the misconception that people have is that they think that you can't give a real weakness it's not a trick question the question is like, what's your greatest weakness? Because well, let's be honest, everyone's got weaknesses. Mm -hmm. So what they're really seeing is like, one, do you have the self-awareness mm -hmm. to know what your weakness is? So if you say like, oh, I don't have any weakness or whatever, then it's like, then you lack self-awareness, right? And people who don't have self-awareness probably will never really improve. And then the second thing is, uh, you can have a real weakness. It just can't be a detrimental weakness to the job that you're applying for. Like you can't say like, oh, I'm really lazy or, oh, I suck at managing competing deadlines or uh, I'm bad with numbers. Like those are like fundamentally important to the job, mm -hmm. right? But like, otherwise, you know, having a real, real weakness is fine, but it's more important that you want to pick a weakness where you have an example of, what you've been able to do to try to work on that weakness. So it's not that you don't have a weakness, but it's like, what have you done about it? Right. So, you know, like the weakness that I used before, and this is a real weakness, um, is that I had, um, like sometimes my demeanor can be too laid back and it's like, actually doesn't match how I am like it doesn't really match how I really am as a person like it doesn't really match my personality on the inside so like I, my personality is actually like I really care about the work that I'm doing and like I, I'm the type that like you know works hard and always wants to do a good job or whatever but then my demeanor can come across as um just like being laid back to the point where and like i and i don't and i don't like ever look look like i'm stressed out right like mm -hmm. I, i'm always like like i just i look the same no matter what right <laughs> you can you can say i have a poker face and i also like when i talk like you know even now i probably have this a little bit too but before it was even worse it's just like i'm like pretty monotone and like kind of like my my voice is like lower energy so like people just think that I am like disinterested or just don't care that much. Right? Like just like very nonchalant almost, right? And that's a weakness because, you know, like sometimes, like, especially in the work environment, like your bosses want to, sometimes they want to know that, like perception kind of become reality and your bosses want to know that you kind of care, right? Like they want to see you a little bit stressed out sometimes because if you're never stressed out, they probably just think, oh, this guy doesn't care at all. Or like, you know, if you're, if the way you talk, it's like there's no like emotion in there and just like very robotic or whatever. Like, so like that honestly actually hurt me at work in terms of like my performance reviews and just how people viewed me. Like it was not aligned with how I actually showed up, right? And so like, that was my weakness and that's a real weakness, right? But it's not like a detrimental one um, because I'm saying I actually do care. I just like don't know how to express it. I don't come across that way. And then like what I did about it was I actually went to a uh, like a speech coach basically. Mm -hmm. And like once a week I worked with this coach on just like on my voice basically or like on how I spoke. It's like, you know, having more inflection in my voice having more like variance as opposed to just being like very monotone and like ending my sentences you know on a downward pitch as opposed to upward pitch and like you know very nuanced stuff like that that i never thought about until i worked with a coach right? and then i did that consistently every week for whatever six months 12 months whatever and then i started seeing improvements and then in my subsequent performance reviews i actually got feedback from my bosses that you know um, that I seem to care a lot more now or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then, so like, that's like the positive result from what I did, right? So like, there's a framework in the behavior module on how to answer weakness questions. It's basically like, 
you know, just using a spark outline. And so it's like, just come up with something where you have something to point to where you can say like, yeah, I actually, I know this is my weakness and I worked on it. And then this was like the improvement that I got. And here's what I learned from, you know, working on this weakness. And like that, that's all you have to be doing. Right? So it doesn't have to be a fake weakness. In fact, it shouldn't be a fake weakness because people will see right past that. Um, but it should be like something that you genuinely think is a weakness. Does that make sense? Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're looking for more customized advice that's tailored for your specific situation, then I invite you to book a free strategy session with our team at the link below. We'll talk to you soon.